Are you treating your life like a business, spending every dollar on you to grow? No, you're not. That's why you're getting your ass dusted. That's why if you're making some money, you'll be broke in a fucking year. You'll always start over because you don't get it. You don't want to see me mad. I'll be coming with that payback. You don't want to taste that. Don't want to see me on attack. Trust me, you real, real quick before we get started. Look, what I'm interested in is people that want to self-develop, grow, go to the next level, okay? Who in here wants to be successful? Raise your hand. Okay, but who in here can be successful if you don't take action when you know you need to take action? None of you. The difference between average people and successful people is success, successful people do what it takes when they get an opportunity to do something, okay? Dude, a lot of you in here right now, you're consuming, you're not a contributor. You're not contributing to your own life. You're literally a consumer. If, it, if it's easy, you'll do it. If it's complicated, you won't. You've got to change. If you don't change, nothing will change. Like, I don't know how fucking, like, uncommon sense this is. Just common sense. It's very easy, isn't it? If he's a certain way, there's no way he'll change unless he'll change, right? But in order to change, what do you guys start doing? It's different. Am I right? There's three, three kinds of coaches that change my life. I have three coaches in my life or I find one coach that, that can teach me all three. Number one, sales. Need a sales coach. Number two, speaking. You gotta learn to speak. Some of you guys can't even talk or have a conversation outside of your bullshit you had when you were a teenager. You still can't talk like with a customer about money yet. Okay, your speaking sucks. That's why, you, that's why you're broke. Okay, because your speaking sucks. So sales, speaking, and what else? An image coach, right? An image coach. Do you got to have a good image when you're working with somebody? Yes. Do people got to want to be in your presence? Yes. Why are we talking about fitness? So you can fucking look better. You're not going to get up in front of 10,000 people. You're not going to build a brand on social media and recruit the world. You're not going to do any of it unless you're elite. And you look elite. See, I hear with my ears, but I also see with my eyes. Okay? All the senses, when you're closing a client, when you're getting somebody to do something, all that shit's got to be in tune. Do you want to just get one of them or do you want to get all of them? All of them. You know what me and my wife decided to do? We said, all right. They got all these big dogs that got all this money. Fuck their money. You know what people want? Somebody real. You guys want somebody real in your life? Yeah. Most of you don't have nobody real in your life. Dude, if shit got hard, all your fucking friends would leave right fucking now. You guys got the chance to lean into a company and have the realest thing you've ever had in your life. But dude, like, do we got to fucking beg you? Do we got to hold your fucking hand like little kids in the mall and carry you to the next store? Or can we say, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And you guys are like, Fuck yeah, let's go. Like, like you're in it. Like some of you, you're not in it. You're not chasing shit. He wants you to want it more than him. I would take his fucking soul. That's what you need to do. He wants you to take his soul. He said, I love talking to him on the phone. Did y'all remember that yesterday? He goes, anytime he calls me, I answer. Cause that motherfucker is going to put me on another level. Is that you? If that's not you, that needs to be you. When somebody that you want to run with tells you what they like, when my wife says, babe, I like it when you do this, would I do the opposite or would I fucking do what she wants? I'd be an idiot to do the opposite. Here's the test. Here's the answers to the test. Image coach. Okay, I want to talk. Who, who signed up on the fitness yesterday? Can somebody tell me? I'm going to have them stand up. Everybody that he says your name, come up to the front. Your company shouldn't have to pay for Shit. Dude, if somebody has to pay for you to learn, get the fuck out of here. You'll never be successful. No one's going to make you successful except you. Am I right? Am I right? You don't fucking want it. You don't get it. I don't give a shit. Some of you in here, the money he spent to get me in this room, you're still not fucking paying attention. That's your fucking problem. You're fucking asleep. That's why you're getting your ass dusted. That's why if you're making some money, you'll be broke in a fucking year. You'll always start over because you don't get it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video.
Now listen, I want to say something to you. Me and Jacqueline, me and Jacqueline, we found a guy that was our mentor. Guess what? He said, he said, invest 3% of your income into sales training. 3%. Okay? I was making around 300 grand. What is that? About nine grand. Okay? I said, f*** that. Me and her invested three grand a month each. Three grand for me, three grand for her. Every month to go train with this guy. We did it for 18 months. We were in our 20s. It was the only guy that we found that knew how to t speak, talk. He was a great communicator. He was a great presenter. Dude, he spoke the same fucking thing every time. It never changed. But we wanted to fucking identical emulate it. I wanted to do it exactly the way he did it. And you know what? It paid off. You know what we decided to do then? Go to 10%. Now, I'm not telling you to tithe. This ain't a church. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about, I don't give a who you spend your money with. I spend 10%. It means if I make a million, I spend 100000 a year. People say, 100000 How the fuck do you afford that? How do you think I got to a million, dumb fuck? Some of you guys in here are making a couple hundred grand. It's because you don't fucking train. Some of you in here, you have no team. And your team's going to leave you. And you're not going to be at the top. And he's going to fucking grow. And you're going to be right here. Why? He's spending every dollar he can to grow this are you are you treating your life like a business spending every dollar on you to grow no you're not I can pull all your bank accounts right now and I can look at how fucking undisciplined all of you are fucked off 100 there fucked off 200 there fucked off a thousand there none of it goes to you getting better dude stop saying you want to be successful when you don't stop listening to the motivational videos on fucking YouTube and getting fired up when you won't can change. Does everybody get it? Here, you want to know how I made it? Why don't you fucking open your ears? Open your ears. I changed. I changed. All of you in here are capable of being unreal. I've spent a day with you now. I know who you are. I know how you feel. But you're not fucking changing. What the fuck? Does some, what do we need to do? Somebody tell me what we need to do. What do we need to do to change you? We need to get you fucking bankrupt and have you lose everything. We need to make you homeless. What do we need to do? How much pain do you need to fucking change? You know what, shitty? Until you guys hit rock fucking bottom and you lose everything, most of you won't fucking change. And it's sad. Okay? The low people, you know what they do? They complain, they bitch, they cry, they whine. They're always fucking wrapped up in bullshit. They're always fucking broke. The top people, just keep fucking climbing. It's a separator. You want to conquer and divide? You guys need to decide today what you're going to do. Do you guys want to stay where you're at or do you want to go up? Go up. You want to go up? You spend every fucking dollar you have self-investing on yourself and learning everything you fucking can. Because everybody in this world is trying to hold on to their fucking last dollar. They're trying to play it safe. And I am literally pounding their ass in the ground. Dude, we built our business on being broke. Dude, my wife, just so you're aware, we have more money we know what to do with. You know what she tells me every day? Andy, we need to fucking make it. We're going under. Why? Because I want to work broke. Comfortable people get fucking swept. I kick their ass for a living. You guys need to put your back against the wall. Some of you in here aren't on my level. When I get fired up, you don't understand. It's because you're fucking asleep. You're asleep, man. You're not intense. You have no energy. You're getting your ass kicked. You're fucking broke. Well, dude, do you want to change? Like, do you want to earn more? You got to be different, man. Guys, like, this is it. Like, do you want to be the same fucking you or do you want to change? Okay, then fuck, man. Like, dude, kill the old Jew. Kill it. Kill that motherfucker. What is selling? Selling is like a delusional confidence that I can have whatever I want. When I'm at the table and I'm talking to somebody, there's not a chance in fucking hell that this deal's not gonna go down. You get it? You get it? You get it when the whole room understands that everybody's signing? If you've ever been in the room with somebody that's so magnetic, so infectious, the room is literally f just filled with vibes of buying. Everybody's just in a fucking zen state. Closers in that room. He's taking his mind and he's hijacking everyone else's. Everybody in the room. He's taking up space in their head and they're doing what he wants them to do or she wants them to do. You guys feel me? Yeah. 
But dude, if you guys don't change your fuck, you can't even use it. You can't use this shit that I'm teaching you staying the same. Only I can use it. You're like, well, I want to be like him. No, you don't. Because I go to the gym every day. I eat fucking clean every day. Hey, I'm not that good looking of a guy. I'm a pretty ugly motherfucker. But you know what? I get in good shape and it makes me better looking. Does that make sense? Every day that we're closing, are we going to be doing it face to face or on the telephone? You want to fucking look at people in the eyes and be somebody they wish they could be? Yes or no? You want to be in front of somebody and have them look at you and respect you and appreciate the fact that they're in your presence and appreciate and respect your time? Be a person that demands the fucking attention when you walk in. Are you a closer? Come here. Let's do this. All right, give it up for him, guys. He's going to show us how it's done. All right, what, Tommy? All right, Tommy, come on, bud. Yeah, all right, Tommy, you're going to speak up a little bit. Is that cool? Okay, guys, what are the objections that a closer gets? <clears throat> think about it. Okay, think about it. Talk to wife. What else? More research. More research. Hold, hold on, hold on. Research. I get three quotes. Okay, that's more research. I ah, will put three quotes by it. Screw it. Talk to CPA. Don't want to do a loan. Don't want to sign an agreement. What else they say? Too old. Too old. What? Insurance drop. Gonna. They're so gonna gonna move. Stay. I never make first day decisions. Hate the way it looks. Same day. <clears throat> Holes in the roof. Better technology. Come on. Anything else? Anybody see anything else? Okay, you ready? We are going to rate Mr. Tommy. Good. Great. Or unstoppable. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen objections. Okay, Tommy, can you overcome all thirteen of those? Yeah. Okay, Tommy says he can overcome all thirteen. Is he good? Is he great? Or is he unstoppable? I'm going to let you guys decide. Is that cool? Here we go. All right, Tommy, he goes over all the numbers with me. Everybody listen up. Are you ready? Okay, this is how you need to judge yourself daily. Don't yawn, son. Come on. All right, Tommy, ready? Hey, I appreciate you showing me all the numbers. Thank you so much. The presentation has been shown. I say, Tommy, I need to think about it. Yeah, I totally understand. Um, Um, yeah, I totally understand. If, if something was, you know, good to do today, why should we put off to tomorrow? Uh, at the end of the day, this is just like the preliminary process. Like, I'm not even sure if you can get fully approved yet. Okay. Good, great, unstoppable. Come on, man. Who didn't fucking say something? Where's your balls at? What are you fucking scared he's going to beat your ass or something? What is he, your boss? Listen, can we be honest with each other? Yeah. Yes. Good, great, or unstoppable? Good. All right. Number one. All right. I'm going to put marks next to him. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hey, listen to me. And I'm not judging him. You're not judging him either. We must tell the truth. Does Tommy want to make more money, do you think? Yes. How's Tommy going to make more money? Getting unstoppable. Getting fucking unstoppable. Ha ha. Why are we training? To become unstoppable. Do you want to be the best in the world? Listen, are you the top 20% in your industry? Not even in the top 1%. I'm not even saying one. I'm saying top 20. If you're not top 20% earner, you know what? You got fucking work to do. You shouldn't even be allowed to fucking sleep until you're in the top 20%. You guys need to have a new standard. This is the law of attraction. Does anybody know what the law of attraction is? 
You want to make a lot of fucking money? You want to go up? You do what people that are at the top are doing. You know what they're doing? This fucking shit right here. All the fucking time. Until they're the very best. All right, here we go. I'm going to move quick. You guys rate them. Is that cool? All right, cool. So I need to think about it. You guys said he was good. Hey, I really appreciate you. Thanks for showing me the numbers, but I need to talk to my wife. Go. Cool, yeah, I totally understand. Uh, people tend to make this a bigger decision than it really has to be. Uh, is she home right now? Uh, no. She's not home? Okay. Um, do you think if that, you know, based off of these numbers, and, you know, let's say you're saving 50 bucks a month, if you could lock in your home's power rate for the rest of your life, and it'll never go up, do you think that would be something you should be upset about? Yeah, I just need to explain it to her. Okay. Do you think that you have the, all this down back where you can explain this to her, or do you think it would be better time for me to come back like when she gets home after work? Sure, so we're, so, we're, so we're not moving forward now. What do you think? Good, great, unstoppable. Good thing I don't have a bat on here. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, I'm not being a dick. I know, I know. See, you guys give a fuck about your feelings, I give a fuck about your check. Or I give a fuck about the company growing. You guys feel me? Let me tell you guys a little secret. People work for years in the same industry and don't fucking grow a bit. They still suck. Is it crazy? Is it fucking crazy? <laughs> We're salespeople. We're, do you guys know that? What do we do? Uh, sell sell shit all day long. Does anybody do anything else all day long other than sell? So you're telling me you guys give 100% of your fucking life to sales, and when I call you up here, if you can't handle this shit, what does it say? You're fucking average. You know what average people make? Average, average money. You know what kind of lives they have? Average, average fucking lives. Is that what you want? You guys better get fucking pissed off. You want to know why I'm mad? I'm mad because you're wasting your fucking life. You guys should have 5, 10, 15 ways to handle every one of these. What else do you do all day long? off. That's what you do. You fucking hang out with your buddies. They're fucking broke too. There's this thing. It's called an epiphany bridge. Here's where you are now today. Look, see you guys, that's fucking you and you're making 10 grand a month. And then this motherfucker is making a hundred grand a month. I'm just giving you an example. When will you have that fucking aha mo aha? Oh fuck. Bow. Damn. That's, that's what I need to do. When will you have it? Because when you have it, it's called an aha moment. There's an epiphany bridge, which there's a fucking bridge. It looks like this and shit. And it takes you from where this motherfucker is to where this motherfucker is that fast. You just fucking go there. It's a decision. There's no fairy tale dust. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. We're all the fucking same. But some of us can make decisions and some of us can't make decisions. You guys get it? Hey guys, I just wanna tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.